All right, we're back on the record in the 53rd Circuit Court, and uh, we're calling People v. Paulino, file 21-6122FH. We have Ms. Paulino appearing by Zoom audio only with some video problems. We have her attorney, Mr. Gilbert, in the courtroom, as is the prosecuting attorney, Ms. Goodrich, and we're providing public access online. The time date set for a docket call, Mr. Gilbert, do you know how we proceed? Your Honor, when I spoke with Ms. Paulino, we were going to ask the uh, court to put this on the trial docket. Uh, however, I have spoken with the prosecutor again since that conversation, and she's come up with uh, some alternatives of a possible resolution. I know she, I believe she wants me to talk with the uh, um, the agency involved in this case uh, directly and see if I can work something out. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, so we don't have a resolution at this point. Okay. But I think there's one on the horizon. Okay. Any objection to a continuance, Ms. Goodrich? No objection. We can continue this to... August 10th at 2 p.m., but we'll schedule that to be held in person. Okay, Ms. Polino, did you hear that? Uh, I heard that. The last part I didn't hear. Uh, It'll be here when? in the courtroom. Okay. August 10th, 2 p.m., here in the courtroom in person. Okay, so then the court, the court is open. I can't hear you. The court will be open, so we go right to the court? Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, see you then. Okay. Am I, am I done now? Yep, you're done. Have All a good right. day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Let's call um, people v. Caleb Stewart. Two file numbers, 21-6067 and 6085 FH. It's a time to date set for sentencing. And, um, bless you. and Mr. Stewart has been participating in our recovery court program and is scheduled for sentencing today into the recovery court formally. And uh, sadly, though, he's not here today. Mr. Gilbert, do you have any information about that? Uh, Your Honor, we've been trying to contact him. I, I... So I'm, I saw him as recently as last week in our, uh, our recovery court, and so I'm not too sure why he's not here today. I did um, contact one of his contact numbers. They said he was having an issue with his phone, uh, that it broke, and that he had to get insurance for it. Um, she was going to try to relay a message to him by instant messenger. However, um, he's, he's not here. However, I don't understand any reason other than an oversight that he wouldn't be here because this is what he's wanted for quite some time. So I'm slightly confused. All right. Well, we are scheduled for a recovery court weekly review hearing tomorrow morning. Um, Ms. Goodrich, any objection to us um, seeing if he appears tomorrow morning and we can sentence him at the end of that hearing? Or? No objection. All right. So I'm going to give him until tomorrow morning. If, uh, if he's a no-show tomorrow morning, we'll have the warrant. All right, and then there's a Kiana. Let's see who that is. Kiana's on the phone. Oh, this is Mr. McQuaid. Right. Can you hear me, Your Honor? Yes. All right. Are you Mr. McQuaid? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So we're calling the case of People versus Cameron McQuaid, file 18-5564FH. Mr. McQuaid is appearing by Zoom video. And this is uh, the probation agent's motion to extend probation. Um, The request is that the probation would be extended by a year to expire instead of on August 21st, 2021, to extend it to August 21st, 2022, uh, because Mr. McQuaid has not addressed financial obligations, completed substance abuse treatment program, GED requirements, uh, and then 
He did not address them previously because he had been a probation absconder and then uh, had served a jail sentence and now he's released from jail and back out on probation. So Mr. Gilbert, are you here on that case? Uh, Your Honor, I don't know necessarily. I did try to talk, uh, get a hold of Mr. McQuaid so I can discuss it with him. Uh, however, none of the numbers that I had worked any longer. Uh, so I, I'm here if the court wants me to. Okay, well, it's unclear from the probation or from the criminal justice reforms whether uh, indigent defense would be provided at uh, a motion to extend probation. We had taken the position that we certainly would if people uh, want that. Um, but Mr. McQuay, let me just ask you here. So we had some issues on probation and then you, you had to, uh, you had a violation and had to sit some time. Now you're back out, back on probation. Looks like there are still some things you need to do. Do you have any objection to us extending your probation one year to August 2022 to give you time to complete those things and possibly discharge successful? Your Honor, I was going to ask if there's any way um, I could possibly get off probation and still address my court fines and stuff like that. Well, it's not just fines, it's substance abuse treatment, GED. Have you done those things yet? Um, I actually did three out of the four GED tests, Your Honor. Um, I'm currently trying to get an uh, appointment set up for the math of GED. All right. Have you have you successfully completed a course of uh, substance abuse treatment? Um, I did go to Harbor Hall once, Your Honor. I believe I was supposed to do another one, and I did not make it in there. All right. Does that sound to you like you're done with probation then? No, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to extend your probation to August 21st of 2022, because the other option, Mr. McQuaid, if we don't extend your probation, you haven't successfully complied. So we'd have a violation hearing and decide whether to give you more jail and how much. So it's not like the options are cut you loose or keep you on. The questions are, do we violate you or do we give you more time? So understanding those options, do you have any problem if I give you more time? I'd just like to continue probation then, Your Honor. Okay, I think that's a good decision, Mr. McQuaid. So I've signed the order extending your probation to August 21st, 2022. So be in touch with your supervising agent and make sure you get those things done. I don't wanna to have to give you more jail in this case. I really want you to complete those things so we can discharge you successful, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, good luck. Thank you. I honestly have no idea under the criminal justice reforms whether we did that right. I think you did it in a way that makes sense to me. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm to right to and, uh, oh, no. okay. Mr. Stribbett, can you hear me? Can't get anybody, Dan. Oh, no. Mr. Stewart, can you hear Let's us? See if I can find right now. I got one. I got a couple of my private. Hold up. Hold, up. Hold on. All right. Can you can you hear me, Mr. Stribbett? Uh not really. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're back on the record. We're recalling the cases of People versus Joseph Stribbett. It's filed 21-6081 and 6116FH. Uh, we've given Mr. Gilbert time to discuss the matter with Mr. Stribbett. And uh, we're here on a docket call and bond violation hearing for contempt. And Mr. Stribbett, I know it was uh, that Mr. Gilbert advised you here in the court, we have no proof that you have taken a single drug test. I understand that. Uh, I have one of my receipts right here. And I've taken over five tests there for sure. Um, I asked them though that he said they keep all their records and that they will fax them to the courts if I need them. 
But the number I got for the place, I text it and I call it, and they uh they won't pick up. Usually not till after five. Here after Mr. Schroeder has advised me, I believe he's going to in the advanced. We just hold on. Turn turn your camera back on, Mr. Strubick. Go ahead. He, he's there. Sure. Uh, Your Honor, um, Mr. Strubick advised me that he had been testing an advanced drug testing. I informed him that he needs to get a hold of them and get the receipts back to the court. So that doesn't seem to be happening. Mr. Strubick, can you hear me? seem to have lost them. I'm going to add this to next Tuesday's docket at 340 in person. We had a bond violation hearing at the same time. Let's see if this is him so I can tell him that. I'll give him a chance to get those receipts. It's not the court's job to track down those receipts. I understand. Yeah, Mr. Strubick has been advised of that. Okay, Mr. Strubick, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. It's not my job to get the receipts, it's your job. So I'm going I'm to I'm gonna continue this hearing one week. So July 13th. Could I Next have them Tuesday, back with you guys? Hang on, hang on. Just listen for a second. Next Tuesday, July 13th at 3.40 in the afternoon, you're going to be in my courtroom personally, Mr. Stribick. Okay. And you can get July any 13th? of those receipts to July 13th, 3.40 in the afternoon. Okay. And you can... Uh, Provide any of those receipts to your attorney before then. If he wants you to send them to the court, go ahead and do that. But I, I would check with Mr. Gilbert first. I'll have them for sure. And um, and we'll get this sorted out next Tuesday. But next Tuesday, Mr. Stribick, I just want you to know, if, if, if I'm not convinced that you are testing as required, I will be revoking your bond that day. Well, I, I do do mine online, so I even I have history of how I do it. I go online on the my call-in, and I do it like that. So it's I have record of every morning when I do it on the phone. Okay. I don't all call right. the well, number. I do it all online. Okay. I'm just letting you know. We, we've got to make sure that, that, uh, that you're testing as required, okay? So get that yep. information to Mr. Gilbert. I'll get everything I can together. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got to have the test results, Mr. Strivick. Not just that you were well, calling I mean, in. We don't have I, any of the test results. Yeah. I. I, I mean, I. I don't know. I. It's out of my hands. I'm just gonna go to him and tell him I need them because I mean, I. I just pay him the twenty dollars and he gives me a receipt. I got them. Well, let me just, tell you. Let me tell you. If the agency that you're going to is not getting receipts to the court. You might want to think about going to somewhere else to get tests. There are three agencies yeah, in town. I, if one of them is not helping you out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, never you know, knew there I, I would switch agencies before I go to jail for somebody. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, um, I will. I'll start going to the that, one that's, in town. That's your job to sort out, not mine. So you've got to prove to us that you're, that you're testing as required. So we'll see you next well, I, Tuesday. I, in I the have court. been calling it and I have been testing. I just got to get the paper from them guys. He says they have it and if I ever need it, I'll get it. Okay. All right. We'll see you next Tuesday at 340 in the courtroom, Mr. Sturdy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. And I believe that that concludes our docket this afternoon. We'll put over Mr. Uh, Stewart until tomorrow morning at the conclusion of recovery court. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Um, um,